the X with a green blue versus my green red. Here we go. X gonna give it to me. I'm on Dire side. He's on Radiance. Hi there. We're playing some um some Artifact. It's the new card game, the Dota Two card game. Uh. So hey, right off the bat, this is one of those things. In this game it drives me bananas. Uh. Look at this, his, uh, his Venomancer has been, all, all, all cards get sort of randomly placed on the, on the game board into the lanes. And, uh, his Venomancer has been randomly paired up against, well, this, this big bastard, Keith the Bold. And so right off the deck, I get five gold. He literally just, imagine playing a game of Dota where one one of your, your teammates literally just runs down the fucking, I guess in that case it would be the top lane and, and face checks a much bigger hero because that's exactly what happened. Uh -huh. Yeah. Whack. Uh, it's annoying that he sapped is uh this this guy but uh it's not that bad it's not the worst thing he's literally going to walk away from this first turn with zero gold which is pretty freaking rough uh yeah so right off the bat i got six bucks oh it's given me apothesis blade straight off the fucking bat i'm there's no way i'm gonna get 25 fucking gold so i'm not gonna spend one to hold on to it i will get that other bad boy for a, well, all right. So I've got a lot of potential in the left-hand lane. Uh, I've got medium potential in that that lane. I'm gonna I'm gonna go left and middle. See what we can do. We'll see what he's up to. I assume he's gonna go left lane with his uh, his lichen. Give himself some uh, protection. Yep. So uh, we'll see where it puts mine. And I get a, a bit of free damage on deck. Uh, I'd love a green card, but I probably won't get one. I've got a lot of red cards and not many greens. Um, we may as well just try and pump up the jams. Clear it, clear it out a bit. Uh, if he tries to kill Keith Bold, then I will do something but otherwise I'm just gonna let this this play itself out okay fair enough boom kaboom okay next round next turn next turn what are we gonna do we're pretty free so far can I put this over here? I cannot, so we will not. Uh, yep, okay. Uh, I get another bunch of golds. Things are just, uh, they're, they're a bit rough so far for my lad. Um, let's just do, after the first time an allied spell is played in each lane, we've taught two mana in, in that lane. So, that's a lot of mana. Crystal Maiden, is it? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Hefty. Heavy duty. Um, might as well just get the get the money, right? Get the damage on deck. So it's in his interest. What is he? He's blue-green. It's in his interest to play a... Any spell, I guess. Um, I probably should have put that on someone, eh? What a freaking moron. What a freaking moron. Just couldn't see. Two, one. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Deal one piercing damage. So it's sort of like a 
sort of like um, Zeus, but always there. This one's pretty good. Shiva's Guard is pretty great, but I am going to buy a Town Portal just to make sure I've got one uh, so I can manage that a bit better. All right, so his best plan is to... Hmm, he's losing left. Uh, he's free in middle, and he's about to start losing right. Well, he's already losing right, but he's going to about to start losing it pretty hard. Uh, I am going to hammer him in the right, see what he goes for in the middle. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, who's got initiative? I've got initiative. Okay. Two greenies. All right, we'll get one of these out. Make sure we clear the board. He's going to do something with his lichen to make the lichen a bit better, I think. He's not. Because I guess he's not taking any tower damage. I'm not sure. Um, I don't have a kill a improvement available, which is annoying. He gets initiative because I went, I actually made a move and he didn't. I can only use red. Um, I can put this over here and if it turns in. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put Hellbear, Hellbear Crippler over on the right hand side, turn it in, it'll do, it'll modify it for one damage. Oof, fully restore. Oh, he gets to use that once a turn. Alrighty, that's okay. Yes, perfect, so that's what I was hoping for. I mean, it, it would do three damage on, on thing, so I'd be okay with it, but. Okay, so I'm gonna do this now, just to make sure he's gonna put another one damage out. It's piercing damage, so it'll go through the armor. That's okay. That is okay. I think he actually wants to kill this guy because he doesn't want to take the modify. So modify, uh, in case you don't know. Oh, he's playing something. Two plague wards. And it's gonna do one damage. That's okay, I live. Um, maybe, I mean, he's still got three mana left. Modify is a permanent change to uh, uh, enemy stats. So in this case, oh, he's, he's, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, so they have to live to actually do any damage, but that's okay. Uh, the Venomancer actually does. No, I thought it did. Okay then. Okay then. What do you do? You can look up here and see what they did. So he's disarming it, dealing two damage. So I blocked one damage because it was regular damage. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take it back, so I'm gonna try to manage his gold intake. Um, I would have liked to have kept the Venomancer, but I guess I cannot. Uh, I'm gonna kill both these, so that's I'm cool with that. Um, 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 I'll do another four damage. I'm gonna play this out here. It's going straight. Good thing about Savage Wolf is that. After each turn, it gets two extra health. After each combat, it gets two extra health and one extra damage, which makes it like it ramps on its own without you doing anything. Uh, and and like, look, now I'm doing 15 damage on deck right there. Oh my lord. The shop deed. So the way the shop deed works is you play the shop deed and basically whatever comes up in the secret shop each round is fucking free. It's Ludicrous. I can't do anything else, so I shouldn't hold on to it, but um yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. He's going to lose a tower in the next two turns. And because I'm not irresponsible, 
I'm going to put my when you recall them back to the when you recall them back to the portal. I'm not a Dota player. I watch Dota. I do not play it. So forgive me if I forget terms. Um, yeah, but when you when you do that, it gets its health back. So uh, I was on one health, but now I'm full, and I will get free damage on person, which is cool. Um, oh, you conscript, that's good. And the wolf. Oh yeah, I'm gonna play the wolf in this this lane as well. But I would. This is he's in a lot of trouble. I think, unless I'm missing something. Give you mana. Okay, so. It costs one, so he only actually gets two, but it's still, it's better than nothing. I obviously have to play the shop deed before I go to the shop again. He spent all his money, so he's got some items. That's pretty good. So he will live through this. I'm still gonna do a bunch of damage. Uh, red hero. So I'm gonna play the, the wolf over here as well just to make things more challenging for him. Yeah, nice. Ooh, it's a good spot. Um, hmm, what I need is the ability to like, ah, oh, that's good, that's good. There's nothing I can do, I'm just gonna have to wear it. Yeah, nice. Right, that's the Venomancer doing two, two, uh, two regular damage to wherever it wants. I desperately need to be able to kill an improvement, but I need to kill two improvements because, good God, one piercing damage whenever he plays a blue card is heavy. There, and now he's going to do another, and now he's going to be able to reset, and now he's going to be able to Maybe do that again. Yep. Or did he just do it for the sake of it? He's only got two cards left. That's the other thing. He is running out of stuff. That's the, the challenge with playing Artifact is that there are far out. That's heavy duty. The challenge with Artifact is that there are three lanes and so your cards have to live, have to be good enough to, you know, keep you going across three lanes which can be extremely difficult. Um, that's not gonna make any difference. I'm just gonna let it go. So I'm fully winning the right lane. It's not the lane that you wanna win. You wanna win, oh my Lord. That's, that's disgusting. That is a very rough uh, one for me to pick up. I'm gonna grab that as well. Who's got initiative? I've got initiative. I don't think he has, there is a card that uh, that forces a hand. I'm gonna put the helm on Lycan and then I'm gonna steal his Thunderhide pack and it is going to be a devastating blow to him. He is gonna, I don't think, no, no. He wants to win the left lane. Uh, he has to go through a lot of stuff, yep. Fair enough. Um, yeah, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do I heal first? Yes, I do. All right, so he'll have cards to directly attack, but I wanted to get that back up just in case he did directly hurts all of my things because I want to get the helm out on this to steal this because it is a creep creep so 
exactly what I thought was going to happen. Exactly what I thought was going to happen. I do not believe he has enough to do that again. He does not. That is a bummer, my boy. A bummer. Okay, now over here, what are my options? Sucker punch, I could sucker punch that. I could. Hmm. That'll give me the ability to power through that. Clear the deck, it's four and I only have seven, so. How much are we doing? Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's kill that. Because I've already got cleave and it's half of my damage. Half of it. So Sven's great cleave. Cleave does uh, damage to anyone blocking, which is a mistake I've made before. But uh, basically... Oof. That sucks. So basically Sven's cleave is half of his damage at that moment. So by giving him plus four damage, he's doing uh, basically four. So I will be able to kill everything on deck uh, while taking sweet fuck all damage. Um, okay. Drawing cards, fair enough. Um, I could sap the Crystal Maiden. Let's do it just to make sure. Save myself a little bit of pain. Secure the, yeah, okay. That's the best plan for him. Uh, three, three mana left. So we're just gonna get a bit of damage down and we go back to the shop. And like I said before, everything I buy is zero. Like everything in the secret shop is now zero. It's, it's free. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's such a lucky draw, which, I mean, yeah, I guess. So if we look at it right now, you can see up here as well, up in the top left-hand corner, but you can see he's got seven health and I'm doing 16. He's got eight, I'm doing 19. I can win either of these things, maybe, uh, but I've got to make sure I win them. So I think his only choice is to split them. Uh, I... I don't understand. I guess he's trying to... Yeah, okay, so he's gonna try and hold on to the left-hand lane. Ooh, uh... What he needs is the ability to kill equipment. It would kill his own equipment, but... Mm -hmm. um, okay, so... What I can do is... What? Ah, oh, bummer. I guess we can do this. We'll kill this. Yeah, fair enough. Still got six mana. I am not going to do anything. I'm happy with what I've got. Uh, I could drop Oak Conscripts to make sure I win it. Um, hmm. Could clear the board a little bit. Heroes have cleave. That's not going to change that. Hmm.
Okay, middle, 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 middle. My turn first. We can play red. Um, we will go over here and make sure the damage goes down. Okay, yep, fair enough. And I'm going to do this, and I assume he's going to anger him sanctum. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. Fair enough. That's what Ogre Magi does. There's a 25 chance to put a base copy of that card into your hand. So uh, he gets another copy of it, which is handy dandy, but he doesn't have the mana to play it. He will have the mana to play it in that other lane, though. Um, so. Hmm. More cash in the bank, but I don't have any use for cash, I guess. I can buy stuff. Um, so we're going to heal this up. It's only, it's not healed to full, which is annoying, but we're going to get this on deck. We're just going to try and get some damage out. Um... Boom. He can't do anything because he doesn't have any heroes. You have to have a hero of a certain color in that card to, um, we may as well. We definitely may as well, we may as well. That's good enough for now. So <clears throat> he has to put that somewhere. I assume he has decided right is a lost cause and he's gonna do whatever he can. But if I have any ability to get through, then he's in trouble. I don't think he can, I, I don't think he can stop me. I don't see how. He can call the reserves, provided he has a blue hero somewhere, which he does not. So, he needs to, Yeah, any damage I do is enough damage, so. I have a card that I can use, um, Time of Triumph, and if I use it, this lane is one. I win it on, on the spot, I guess. Uh, all right, fuck it, GG. So that's that tower down. There's no point in going any hammer on it. You only need to win two towers or uh, as you can see on this one, it's now worth 80. If you power through, if you base race all the way through and you can. Ooh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap it this way instead of that way. So I can continue to get some damage on the deck. We'll get this card out as well, just to make sure we've got it. And that is it. This is my win. So, GG, yeah. Fuck waiting for me to get it on my own. X was going to deliver it to me.